This year, the Catholic Church will commemorate the 750th anniversary of St. Thomas Aquinas' death, reflecting upon the eventful life and timeless work of the angelic doctor. Father Serge Thomas Bonino, president of the Pontifical Academy of St. Thomas Aquinas, shared some thoughts about the actuality of the medieval theologian's thought. St. Thomas is, first and foremost, a man in search of God. As a child, the first words we know he spoke is, quid es Deus, meaning, what is God? And so, he is a man who searched God with his life, with the commitments of religious life, and sought him intellectually. Born in the castle of Rocca Seca, south of Rome, St. Thomas spent his youth in the Benedictine monastery of Monte Cassino. After entering the recently established Dominicans while studying in Naples, and then furthering his studies and teaching in Paris, the Dominican friar returned to Italy on two occasions, the first time to Orvieto, where he composed the proper for a mass in an office for the feast of Corpus Christi, and a second time to Rome, where he served as papal theologian and started to write his famous Summa Theologica. And then, at the end of his life, he returned to Italy after having taught in Paris for a second time, and he went to Naples. And in Naples, he was called to participate at the Council of Lyon in 1274. And on his way to Lyon, he stopped at the Abbey of Fossanova. Exhausted and very tired, he died in the Abbey of Fossanova. E morto nell'Abbazia di Fossanova. Although 750 years have gone by since the great theologian and doctor of the church passed away in the Cistercian Abbey of Fossa Nova, the thought of St. Thomas didn't die with him. Rather, his thought has continued to develop over time and is today known as living Thomism. His theology, his work, which is an immense work, has had a very important role in the history of the church. He is called the universal doctor because St. Thomas's doctrine expresses the fundamental principles of the Christian faith of Christian theology. Building on the legacy of the Dominican Order's first Roman Studium Conventuale at the Priory of Santa Sabina in Rome, the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas was eventually established in 1908 and given its pontifical status in 1963. Today, religious and lay men and women from the world over travel to the Eternal City to study the thought of this great saint. The students, wherever they come from, are faced with incredible cultural and intellectual challenges. And so they are looking for a tradition that is well-rooted in the history of the Church that has been and still is very much recommended by the magisterium of the church. And Thomism gives these students keys, tools to deal with more contemporary issues and challenges. This year, the Catholic Church will commemorate the 750th anniversary of St. Thomas Aquinas' death, an anniversary significant not only for the Dominicans and Thomists around the world, but also to every Christian. I really wanted to deepen my understanding of the Catholic faith, and something that was really striking to me was the rationality of St. Thomas. We live in a world where it is commonly thought that the faith is for the ignorance, it's like irrational, irre unreasonable, but it's not, it's blatantly false, and knowing, learning this rationality of St. Thomas, that's not only in his philosophy, but in his whole faith, really, I think, helps us not only to understand, but also deepen and promote our faith. An anniversary is a way to remember the figure of St. Thomas, of reproposing this exemplary figure, not only for Christian intellectuals, but also for all Christians. Let us not forget that St. Thomas is a saint, that is to say, a model of Christian life, one who lived his faith to the end. So this model has not lost any of its relevance. It remains very attractive. 
rimane molto uh, attraente. Especially in this time of, of turbulence, that continuity over the centuries is quite a beautiful, um, comforting thing. It gives me courage in my faith. Popes and uh, theologians and councils have turned to him and his work for all these years, so I think it's definitely worth celebrating. Thank God the faith does stand the test of time and thank St. Thomas Aquinas for giving us such a solid foundation.